My name is Ben Noble, I'm the head of Stover Prep School and I moved here with my family in September 2019. In the prep school uh, we have roughly at the moment about 160 children if you include the children in nursery but it feels just like a really big family. So we have children as I say from three years old to 11 but lots of them are playing together. So if you came out and looked at our playground you'd, you'd see that the children have friendships across year groups, people don't remain separate. So it is just like one big community and everybody knows everybody else. We have children here from three years old in nursery all the way up to uh, 11 years old in year six. Lots of children will start their journey with us in nursery and then progress all the way through the prep school. And then in general, the vast majority of year six become year seven in, in our senior school. In the prep school, we're really lucky. So we combine uh, pastorally focused class-based teachers. Uh, they're able to really get to know the children and individualize their education and they will teach a majority of subjects to them, so the likes of English and maths, uh, geography, history, science. However, we then combine that with subject specialists, and those specialists would teach the likes of languages, so Spanish, French and German, teach drama, music, art, and then obviously our PE and games department as well. And then as you move even in further into the, up the prep school, you get the likes of uh, specialist food and nutrition uh, in the senior school as well. So we have, I think it's about 65 acres of land at Stover and we have our own forest. So forest school is actually a very important part of the prep school curriculum and forms part of the actual curriculum, it doesn't sit outside of it. So every single year group across the school, in the prep school, will spend a bulk of time in an afternoon in forest school learning forest skills. It's fantastic. On top of that though, that isn't really just our outdoors, we have an outdoor classroom that we spend a lot of time in. Um, and also all the classes, wherever we can, will be outside using nature as a stimulus. So they might be using it for poetry in English or they might be using it to look at, for example, at the moment, the aut autumn colours and how the seasons are changing. So we use the site a lot. And then on top of that, we've got some amazing sports pitches that are looked after really well and well maintained by our ground staff. So we're playing competitive sports against other schools. So in essence, the whole point of Stover Prep as well is if you wander around, you'll see welly walls. So loads of children are in, have got their wellies, they've got their waterproofs, they've got their coats, and we want to be outside and the children love doing it. I believe that education is about the acquisition of knowledge, but it's also about the development of transdisciplinary skills. And those skills are things like being open-minded, being kind, being thoughtful, being a team player, learning compromise. Um, being thoughtful about other people's needs and wants. We want them to be critically minded, independent learners, independent thinkers, children who know, and we create a culture as such, that trying your best is what is celebrated. Attainment and achievement is really important, but trying your best is just as, if not more important. So the key thing for me, and I think all of the staff, is that children need to feel safe, they need to feel happy, and then they can learn. And without the first two, the learning isn't gonna happen. So we, we put a lot of emphasis on feeling safe and happy at this school. In the prep school, the official school day finishes at 3.45. So what we do at 3.45 is we put clubs on. And those clubs are for all children from reception to year six. And every single child will have the option of at least one, if not two clubs per evening. Now we're, we're through school. So we're a school where you can join at eight, year, three years old and stay here till you're 18 in a nurturing, supportive, friendly community environment. So what are we preparing children for is really what I'd ask you. And my answer to that would be that if they can come out of schooling being independent learners, understanding that they're global citizens and their wider role in the community, that they're kind and thoughtful and open-minded individuals who are not afraid to take risks and that are critically minded, then they will do very well in whatever future awaits them when they actually leave school.